We'll start by extruding these three vertices at the side of the mouth out into the cheek area and prepare the mesh before we add the laugh line. We now have three edges at the corner of the mouth which define the start of the laugh line. Connect these three vertices to the top, middle and base of the side of the nostril with two faces. We'll start forming the chin. Continue the laugh line by connecting them into the chin. And we'll continue to connect and fill in the space between the geometry. Adding another edge loop here to even out the geometry. We'll merge these following vertices to reduce the amount of unnecessary spans under the nose. And we'll continue adding and reducing geometry as needed. We'll extrude these out toward the ear to form the temple area. Extrude these to keep forming the side of the cheek up to the jaw. And extrude the base of the chin geometry up to the neck. Widen out the shape. Create a connection from the cheek to the chin to start forming the jawline. Extrude these up to the hairline to start forming the forehead. Add an edge loop in the middle to form the curved shape. Add an edge loop at the temple to connect the temple to the forehead.
Extrude these edges from the hairline to start forming the top of the head. Continue forming the top of the head with new edge loop cuts and adjust the shape to follow the contour of the head. Continue working between adding more geometry and adjusting the shape, gradually building the shape of the skull. Using top view to curve out the edges at the top of the head, ensuring distribution of space between edges are even, forming the base of the skull that connects to the neck, and continuing to extrude to form the start of the neck. Switching to flat shaded surface and ensuring even distribution of geometry. Continuing the jawline into the neck, filling in the cheek and chin area, adjusting the shape and adding more edge loops as needed. Using Ctrl E to rotate edges and reworking some of the edge flow direction. The goal is to create smooth topology flow, avoiding any sharp or stretched angles. Finalizing to close the topology usually requires quite a bit of trial and error. Connecting the mesh using edge lines to plan out the edge flow.
adjusting the shape to create proper contouring over the cheekbone, and finalizing the shape to prepare for the next stage where we'll be adding the neck.